What's up, everybody? It's Monkey Farm. We are back in the third world. We've got our buddy Beavis, who I think is the girl. Yeah, Beavis. That's a great name for a girl horse. Uh, and we are going to do some witch hutty stuff. Did that lead just disappear? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, so that's the fake witch hut that I rebuilt. This was the original witch hut. And we need to figure out a way to wash the witches off of this thing. Because right now they have to walk off the edge, which they actually do. So it's not too bad. We don't, you know, it's not that difficult. But I would like to uh, be able to flip a switch, maybe have a timer, and wash them, the, uh, the witches off into the hole here. Uh, so I guess ideally um, we wouldn't need this whole edge around here. Uh, I think what I want to do is put a bunch of dispensers on the back and wash them off that way. However, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine blocks. Water obviously flows eight. I think what I should be able to do is put a dispenser a block up. And water's weird how it falls. That should give me an extra block. So if I if I do that, um I should be able to wash the mobs all the way off the edge here. The other option was to do a sifter, which um, you put a bunch of pistons on both sides, and you do a quick pulse, and uh, just shift the floor back and forth, and the mobs basically fall through. But that's kind of a glitch, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, one, they might fix it, but two, it's kind of, you know, not, not exactly, um, I don't know. Sure, it's a game mechanic, but it's kind of an, uh, an accident, so uh, I'd like to do it a regular way using, you know, dispensers and blocks and stuff. So why don't we do that? Uh, I don't have a lot of string here. I'm going to have to go back to the base. Uh, I'm trying to think. Do I have any... I know there's a mine shaft around here somewhere, but... Uh, no point killing ourselves when I have uh, a bunch of string back home and uh, I have a spider farm back home. Well, I never really built a full-on spider farm. Where did my lead go? Oh, over there. Um, and we can get there really quickly with Beavis here. Oh, by the way, I updated the texture pack to have the horse hearts. Um, I'm trying to remember the guy, there was a guy who, who updated my texture pack, or my custom John Smith texture pack, uh, to fix, uh, it, it seemed to have some other things different, so, uh, I'm trying to remember who, what the guy's name was, well, whoever you are, thank you, appreciate that, so basically I just grabbed the new icons file, which had the horse hearts. I didn't do anything else, uh, so hay is still uh, default texture pack, um, leads are still default texture pack, so I haven't really changed anything other than that. Ah, uh, there's the base, and there is home for Beavis. And also, we're going to be doing, oh, I need leads, oh, all that, there's this little, I don't know if it's an accident or what, but... It's like you have to have a lead in your hand before you can hook it up to a post. So if you only have one lead, you can't hook it to a post, I guess. Something like that. I don't know. It's really weird. Hermitcraft. That was happening in Hermitcraft, too. Um, anyway, so I, I know I still have to build a chicken farm. So uh, thank you for reminding me in advance. I will do that at some point, too. Uh, just right now, I don't need chicken or eggs or food or whatever. So I'm working on the fun stuff. 
Uh, although a chicken farm would be pretty fun. I haven't really thought one through yet. Uh, so anyway, back to uh, back to Hermitcraft. We did the map reset the other day. It's awesome. Um, it's been so long since uh, since I had been on the Hermitcraft server, just because I knew we were going to reset. Uh, I hadn't built enough to really. Um, I, I didn't want to basically waste my time because we we're you know there's no point in. Uh, building anything, we were just going to flush it, and everybody else had already finished everything they were going to build, so, um, yeah, uh, so I'm going to go get some spider string, I guess I have to go down to my little spider trap, um, I will go do that, and think of any other materials I might need, and we'll head back to the witch hut, and we'll get this thing going. Oh, what am I talking about? I don't need spider string. I have a million bows in the skeleton farm. Why did you guys let me do that? Hey, chicken. There, I built a chicken farm. There it is. Check this out. Horses can hop over fences. That's awesome. This guy's crazy. Whoa. Woo, jump over a Bilbo. I gotta see this on F5 mode. Where's my F5 mode? <laughs> um, he's not getting injured, which is good. I can't really see him jumping, though. He's kind of flying. <laughs> oh! Okay, we're back. So anyway, uh, so back to a couple things I wanted to mention. Uh, so I had released the uh, map reset video from Hermitcraft. Uh, oh, this is still here. Uh, I had released that in the afternoon, and uh, that is not my normal time. So just in case for some reason uh, you guys did not see it, because the YouTube sub boxes and all that good stuff, in case you didn't notice that I released that video. Oh, I have an extra dispenser. Um, make sure you check that out. I guess I'll take glass. Uh, wait. Yeah, what do I want to do here? Um, well, I need to put glass probably here yeah so block this off so water doesn't get through and it'll push the witches the silk touch no And the other thing, uh, make sure you get ready for this weekend. I'm going to finally launch my music channel officially. Uh, so the first song will be out. And uh, some of you will be happy about it. It's not the one that I put in my other video, a couple videos ago. It's going to be one you haven't heard, one that I hope you like, one that I like, and I'm excited about it. Yep. That's what else. Um, now, what else? So I think what we'll do is we'll wire this back to... Um, to that area, uh, we'll wire it back there so we can, you know, flip the switch on and off or turn on the timer basically on and off. Uh, and then I think what I want to do is build like a little, uh, a little house of some sort here, like an AFK place where we can have some storage out here. We can, uh, that'll be our control center. And then, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. 
that sounds appropriate. And the witches will fall off there. Now, I didn't bring nine buck. Uh, I have iron, so we can do that. But um, let's give this thing some redstone power here. I'll just do this. It'll wash away, but no big deal. Ooh, I better make two then. All right. Where did I put the bucket? Oh no. Oh. Okay, does that wash off? Yep, right to the edge. Cool. Okay, so that's good. Oh, I might not be able to turn this off. I'm gonna have to do it really quickly. There we go. Where did the water go? So the water disappeared somehow, and it dispensed my bucket. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay, so I'm going to make some more buckets, fill these things up. Uh, what else do I need to do? I need to wire this thing up for redstone, and then I need to do the bottom layer too, but we'll worry about one layer at a time. Cool. We're ready for some buckets. All right, so... Um, the wiring should be pretty easy. We'll just, um, uh, the one thing we need to worry about, obviously, is to make sure we don't end up with any spawnable area. Um, this witch hut, the witch huts are really weird, so that's why I have glass out here and not other blocks. And Well, obviously, because I can see through it too, but uh, like this block right here could spawn normal mobs. And right here, no normal hostile mobs can spawn, only witches. So uh, that's really important because we don't want other mobs getting into the system and messing up our spawn rate and all that. Um, that's why we also have half slabs on the roof of this thing. The roof is on fire. Uh, we could set the roof on fire and that would prevent mobs, I guess, too. But Okay, so let's see. How do we want to wire this puppy up? Um, I could probably use slabs here. That way I can still put redstone on these. And we're going to have to fix that, I think. But, um, All right, so let's see. How much redstone can a woodchuck chuck? We've got that. Need one more. There. All right. Um... Okay, so I flipped the switch there, and we need to put half slabs underneath. So I guess I should have used just full blocks, but that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> we should be able to do all these at the same time. Oh. <laughs> if you can't tell, it's really late. There we go. So we've got all of the blocks powered. The water comes perfect. So every witch will get knocked off. And um, so we're good there. All right. So I'm going to close up that stuff. So we're good there. Um, I don't want to turn off the water here because then I'll start getting witches and it'll make it difficult to build the lower level. Um, but what we can do is also um, vertical wire up to this and let's see what we want to do here. So I'm recording this video much later than I normally do. 
It's just been uh, craziness trying to get stuff ready. Okay, um, I wonder if that's going to... Let's see here. Okay, good, so that works on everything, not just the block above it. Okay, so we're good. Okay, then get rid of that. Kind of wish we could put redstone on glass, but then that would that would make it difficult to uh, to not power other things when you don't want to. So um, okay, we're good there. Sorry if I sound a little drowsy. Uh, it's a little later than normal. So. I usually try to make videos when I get home from work, and right now it's just uh, a lot later than that. Okay, and uh, I didn't actually bring dispensers for the lower half, so why don't we just leave the lower half how it is, um, and then what we'll do is, I want to build a little ring here so I can get rid of the water. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of this though, because... Uh, mobs can spawn here. We don't want that to happen. Um, and then I'm going to have to fill in a lot of this stuff. Because that's where... Yeah, you know what? I, I can actually fill in this whole thing. This whole water thing. I don't need that. Because um, the witches are only going to wash off that edge back there. So um, I can fix a lot of this pretty easily. Uh huh. But I do want to remind you to check out the Hermitcraft video. It was a lot of fun. It was basically just, you know, it wasn't a tutorial or anything. It was just a bunch of us uh, just exploring the new map. Um, you're going to be really excited. Uh, in the next Hermit Hermitcraft video, I'm going to show you the house I picked out. I personally think I got the very best location possible. Totally awesome location. Um, it's going to be sweet. And also, uh, I've got some other surprises. I've already found some horses uh, and some other good things. You're really going to like this, and I have some good plans on stuff we can do, uh, both uh, just, you know, in general and with other players on the map as well. All right, um, so make sure you check that out and uh, prepare. Come back uh, this weekend for the fun launch of the music channel. I knew this was going to happen. And of course I wash away all my torches because I put them on the floor. Silly. Alright, anyway, so um, we'll probably finish this up uh, maybe next episode or whenever, but um, you get the general idea of what I'm going to be doing here on the witch farm. Uh, to to get the mobs or to get the witches off of the spawning pads, so um, we made a little progress today. Um, sorry, not too much else going on, and like I said, it's just a little late, and uh, I don't have enough time to. Uh, I tend to put a little too much time editing my videos, um, as you might notice. That I do a lot of clipping. I tend to get bored and uh, are bored and I don't want to I don't want to play anything for you that would bore me so um, that's pretty much my problem <laughs> so anyway uh, that is it for now um, this witch hut's coming together I'm pretty stoked about it so um, see you next time <laughs>